Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Connect Plus. Students Book Unit 7 Lesson 1 Exercise 2 Listen to four people. Match the inventions, one to four, on page two, with the people who talk about them. One. Hartim. Wow! That looks so cool! I'm not sure it's very useful, though. It won't be able to fly very high, will it? Two. Manal. I think lots of people will want to buy one of these. They'll be very useful for travelling. It won't help people to speak other languages though, will it? It's only good for listening. 3. Tarek I think this is a good idea for people in cold places. It won't be very useful for me though. Maybe they will make one to help people feel cooler. That would be good here in the summer. 4. Sosan I think that is an amazing invention. I hope they will build lots of these in Egypt. We have lots of sun and we could make lots of electricity. Exercise 3 Complete the sentences from the listening with will or won't. Then listen again and check your answers. 1. Hartim Wow! That looks so cool! I'm not sure it's very useful though. It won't be able to fly very high. It's very useful though. It won't be able to fly very high, will it? 2. Manal I think lots of people will want to buy one of these. They'll be very useful for travelling. It won't help people to speak other languages though, will it? It's only good for listening. 3. Tarek I think this is a good idea for people in cold places. It won't be very useful for me though. Maybe they will make one to help people feel cooler. That would be good here in the summer. 4. Sosan I think that is an amazing invention. I hope they will build lots of these in Egypt. We have lots of sun and we could make lots of electricity. 3. Exercise 3 Listen to these four people talking about the problems they have with technology. Match them to the problems A to D above. 1. Shadi I'm not sleeping very well at the moment. I usually watch some videos on the internet before I go to sleep, but sometimes I watch them for a few hours and then I can't sleep. My head often hurts lots in the morning too. 2. Hala. I found this great online game, but I didn't know that when I got new things on it, it costs real money. I hope my parents aren't going to be angry when I tell them how much money I spent. 3. Randa. I love social media. I love watching videos online. And... I love talking to my friends on my phone. But now I feel worried if I don't have my phone or I can't check it. I think it is starting to become a problem. 4. Adam My friends and I like to put funny pictures online, but when I share a photo, Everyone says my clothes are not cool or my hair looks strange. It makes me feel sad. Exercise 4. Now listen and complete the advice an expert gives to the people in Exercise 3. 
One. Shadi, watching videos before bed is not a good idea. You should try not to take your phone into your bedroom at night. Two. Khala, you need to talk to your parents. They should check that you can't buy anything when you play games online. Three. Randa, it is important not to become addicted to technology. If you feel you can't live without your phone, you should try taking a break every day for an hour or more. Four. Oh, Adam, they don't sound like good friends. Talk to them in real life and tell them how it makes you feel. If they don't change, maybe you should find some new friends. Workbook, Unit 7, Lesson 5, Exercise 2. Now listen and complete the dialogue with the correct sentences 1 to 5 from Exercise 1. Do you think that all computer games are bad for you, Lama? In my view, not all computer games are bad. Some of them can help you to learn things. I agree. If you don't play computer games all the time, it shouldn't be a problem. It's not a good idea to play games late at night, though. I agree. In my opinion, playing games late at night stops you sleeping. Yes. It's a good idea to only play quiet, calm games in the evening. If you only play games that teach you things in the evening, it should be fine. What do you use when you want to find out the time? Do you use a watch or do you use a clock? These clocks either use numbers to tell the time or they use hands. These hands show hours, minutes and seconds. But how did people know the time in the past? In ancient Egypt, people used sundials. Sundials use the position of the sun to tell the time. Then, in the year 1524, a scientist from Damascus called Taki al-Din invented a watch that looked like the watches of today. It had three hands to show hours, minutes and seconds. It was also small, so people could carry it with them. But watches today don't only tell you the time. Some watches will say that you should do exercise if you are sitting at a computer for a long time. And some have apps, such as maps, that will give you directions if you are lost. What will the watches of the future be like? Some will be like modern mobile phones. If someone calls you, you will be able to see them on a special video screen. And some will look after your health. They will tell you what medicine you should take if you are ill or that you should see a doctor. Thanks for watching and goodbye.